can focus on for full body power is the knee and the elbow. That when the knee moves, the elbow moves. No matter where you move, if the knee moves, the elbow moves. And it's not the elbow moves and the knee moves or you get this imbalance up top. It's knee, elbow. So if they just move, knee and elbow, if Adam's here and he's nice and strong and I move, knee and elbow, Adam is just to have them take a step, knee and elbow into a pad because we want them to use the whole body. When you're getting them to hit and you see them off balancing because you know, they're disconnected, if you get them just to step their knee and move their elbow together with it, you're going to find that it's easy. And it's pretty easy to get them because of course we want their whole body moving. So if their knee and elbow move together, it's pretty hard not to move everything in between. So it's a very short movement for power from there. No matter what they do, power, right? Even backwards here, right? Power. So along with your throwing, the drop step, all those things are bringing really quickly excellent principles to get them to do this whole body. Especially with the um, Dracula's cape, we want them, you know, not just, you know, you're using the drop step, and that's good, but you can get them just to move their knee and elbow together, then you have that whole body. Whereas a lot of times you see them, they're, they're leaning a little bit, they're getting off balance. If they just react by getting that up. So as I say, just a simple movement of to here, here, moving the knee, moving the elbow. Everywhere the knee, the knee goes, the elbow goes. And then you can just have somebody set a pad up. Say, so, okay, I'm going to step my knee to there. As my knee goes, so must go my elbow. Simple method to really uh, bring that in.